Welcome back everyone to another exciting episode of I Am Satsuna. I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion, and in the last episode we did Niter's end game side quest to obtain the Master Sword and uh, his Sprint Knight, which you know what? I forgot to equip. Now I can't open the menu here, so let's just land over here. And go in here and equip his super duper sprit knight. Now, what was it called again? It was something like um, revenge or something. Uh, I don't use combos. Why is that even equipped on me? So um, it was called returner. Uh, enemy attacks into magical power. For no, that's not what it was. What was it? Jeez. Stop it. Rebellion. There you go. Let's equip it on there. And we'll save onto a random spot here. Not the same one as the last episode. And the only person left for a side quest is Julian. So to do Julian's side quest, we need to put her into our active party. There you go. And go to Royberg, which is right here. I believe we have to speak to Cornelius to begin her side quest. Now, where is he? Um, oh, here he is. Your Highness! What on earth is wrong? Cornelius, I have come back because there's something I wish to ask you. Something you wish to ask me? I want you to tell me a tale that you often told me as a child. The tale of the blacksmith who stole the royal Sprit Knight Stone. The tale of the robber smith, you mean? Of course, but what on earth for? If the stone in that tale really does exist, then I need it. No, no, your highness. It is simply an old folk's tale. If no truer than the tale of the frog swordsman. Ah uh ha. -huh. Nice little old polecat chrono trigger. But it is not possible that even an old folk tale... Is it not possible that even an old folk tale holds some secret? That nursery rhyme certainly did. Oh, I see. Mm, well, yes, I suppose that's true. Very well, I shall recount it briefly. A thousand years ago, there was a blacksmith who lived in the royal capital. He had inherited his forge from his father, but it was not going well. And in truth, he did not wish to run it at all. He wished only to live alone, away from people and away from everything. One day, the blacksmith heard a rumor. This rumor told of a Sprit Knight stone created by the royal family that could grant any wish. From that day on, he spent all his time thinking of it and was unable to concentrate on anything else. He dreamed of making his wish to stone, of being alone, away from people and away from everything. Before too long, he plucked up his courage, snuck into the palace, and stole it. He escaped into the Akamel ruins and was able to successfully shake off his pursuers, the royal gods. No one knows if the powers of the Sprint Knight helped him to escape, or if it was merely by chance. No one ever saw the blacksmith again after that. Days passed and months passed, and eventually people stopped searching for him altogether. This was because a rumor spread that anyone who utters his name inside the ruins would instantly be cursed. Perhaps to this day the blacksmith is still inside the ruins away from all people. And away from everything simply clutching to the royal Sprit Knight Stone. Do you think the blacksmith found happiness? Huh. Thank you, Cornelius. I remember it now. A tell with a moral, eh? Don't do it, Julianne. You mustn't go near the stone. You mustn't. You'll be cursed. Even if that is so, if such a stone really does exist, then I think it is a risk worth taking. That is how desperate our situation now is. Well, it can't hurt to give it a try, right? I mean, we're going off information from a story told to little kids, so it might not be true anyway. In fact, it's pretty likely it ain't true. Not you too, old man. Did you hear the bit about the curse? We're not scared of a little curse, are we? If you like, you can stay here and wait for us, though. Uh -huh. 
All right, I'll go, I'll go. Do you know the name of the blacksmith in the tale, Cornelius? No, I'm afraid I do not. I know him simply as the blacksmith. Yeah, we ain't ever gonna be able to find out the name of some guy from a thousand years ago. No, wait. Even if it did do too well, he had his own forge, right? Yeah, of course, the story said so. Then ain't there some way we can look that up? Find out where his forge was back then? We'll have to look back in history. We'll have to go there ourselves. Go where? I see, yes, of course. Huh? What? Where? Yes. All right. We can go and look in the ruins of the royal capital. Exactly. You sure are smart, uh, smart bunch, ain't you? Huh? What? Time in the royal capital stands still due to the time judge's power. Although, it was already deserted in the first place, of course. Of course. Why did I think of that? You truly are a wise man, Ender. Oh, right, that's what you mean. Yeah, I was gonna say that, but I thought it was obviously, you know? Oh, uh, give me a break. You're full of it, kid. <laughs> Everyone laugh. It's hilarious! Cornelius, it is the first time in a long while that I have seen you smile. Well, it brings a smile to an old man's face, your highness. You truly have been blessed with wonderful companions. Yes, indeed. Come on, let's go. We need to go find out the name of the blacksmith in the ro royal capital, right? Yes, let's go. To the royal capital. There you go. Now, I don't think I need to have her in the party anymore. And if I could, I mean... If I can have her out of the party, I'm gonna kick her out. Because I haven't really, you know, gained many levels with her. And she's kind of behind. So I'd rather use Niter with the Master Sword. But by the way, I totally upgraded. And look at the difference. It's crazy. That one w could use more than just the three uh, three Ori, Kyalakum, or whatever you want to call that upgrade. Look at that. Physical attack is 170 compared to the... Uh, which one was it? Was it the Guardian Sword? No. The Iokin Sword. That's the one. 133. That's like... That's like... Ooh. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a huge boost. That's a gigantic boost. Look, even if I were to upgrade this to max, it's 143. That's insane! Alright. So the last lands are obviously the, um, the capital. I believe it's down this way. And we should find... I mean, we're right in the village right when you enter. And I doubt the game would want to make you explore the whole ruins again. So it's probably going to be pretty freaking obvious what needs to be done. Um, and while I'm here, I think I'd like to just do a couple of battles. Just to get our health back. Um, oh, no. I took off my... Uh, I think I took off my blood blow thing, didn't I? Overkill, there you go. Well, he's getting a bunch of his mana back, which is nice. And I would really like for Ender to get to level 52 before the end of this episode. So let's look here. What did I remove from him? Sprit Knight. Um, I think it was on him that I took off something, didn't it? Blunt Blow allows me to have... Okay, Rebellion I want. Uh, this when Okay, I don't so care so much about that one. Now, let's see here. If I go down the list, I'm going to want something that gives me that uh, Firestone Resonance Final Comeback. Where's my Blunt Blow? Blow Beat, that's the one. I need Provoke, because I need Blow Beat. Because that's the big combo I have with our good friend Ender. It does stuns. It's very nice. So, I don't know if we need to go inside houses. Oh, what happened here? Well, that was easy. Grinch's Forge. Here it is. Really? Yeah. Grinch. So that is the name of the man who stole the Royal Sprint Knight Stone. So if we were, if we called out that name in the Archimel Ruins, he'll appear? You think? Sounds pretty fishy to me. Are you scared, kid? 
Huh? What? No, of course not. Why, why should, would I be scared? I just don't think we should waste too much time on this. Fine, let's go. Let's go to the Archimel ruins. We'll kill old Grinch. Simple, nothing to it. Yeah, he's scared all right. All right, let's just kill a few monsters here. Uh, a few of these basic ones. Oh, oh, maybe this one will give us extra HP, eh? Ooh, come on, blow beat. Yes. And let's see if we can need to do Luminaire. Ah, perfect. What do we get out of that? 200 HP. Well, I guess that's good. <laughs> and a bunch of old st uh, of stuff. Not stuff that I necessar necessarily want, but I mean, at least we've got it. Um... We've got one more here. These things seem pretty easy, if you ask me. Low beat. There we go. And insta kill. Overkill. A thousand. I think one or two battles would actually end this. So, oh man, that master sword looks really cool. Now, ah, okay. This thing had spotted us earlier. I don't know how long this spotting thing lasts, so. Yeah, I guess we can't win them all. So let's just do a regular blow beat. And kill them anyway, and we got some health back too, so... Oh, we're so close from the level. Gosh darn it. Okay. Let's look for a regular little monster here. I mean, I can always step out and step back in. Well, there might be one up here. There's that huge tank monster. Do I want to hit him? think so actually I don't want to hit him uh, okay now I'm wasting our time a little bit but I just need one more battle because then in the next episode we're gonna be taking on Ender's quest and oh hello uh, we will take on Ender's quest and he needs all the levels he can get because let's be honest those monsters are tough as nails blow beat I do radiance but it well, doesn't do anything, and I'm not getting any more uh, levels, so... Yay, level 52. That's all I wanted. We're done. Let's get out of here. And we need to get to the Archimel Ruins. Now, through uh, cheating, because I looked at the map uh, that I have on file, the one that I've shown you all here, if I remember... God, I hope I remember. I'll make it appear on the screen here, and you'll see where it is. Alright, let's save here. Um, I think... This is the one, and I don't need to do anything else here, so let's hop on our ship. This is exciting, guys, because if we can actually finish this, and we can do Ender's Quest in the next episode, I don't think I want to do Ender's uh, um, I don't think I want to finish him um, entire, like, I don't want to do a full episode of Ender's side quest. I think I would just do kind of like a supplementary episode, like a little 10 minute video. And if I win, I win, and once I, I'm i done, then I'll do a real video where we take on the last lands again. Now, is this it? What is this? Yes, this is, these are the Archimel Ruins. And uh, we need something around here. I'm not sure where we're going to find this red elevator they were talking about. It's going to be somewhere around here. No. Grinch, 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 I'm yelling at you. Well, I guess I'll have to fight, because these things are kind of in the way. Oh, these are supposed to be big bad guys. I don't like that at all. Please die. Please die. Okay, overkill. So maybe they weren't that... Ooh! I just found my... Oh my god, look at all that stuff, too. I just found my new grinding spot. Holy smokes, 5,000 for one battle? Are you freaking kidding me? That is OP! Oh, there's a safe spot here. Yeah, you know what? In case those things don't spawn everywhere um, and something happens where I die, I don't want to waste too much time. Aw, oh, they spotted us. That's okay. We'll just do a regular blow beat. Oh, man. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I didn't do much. Dead, overkill. We got our mana back, which is what really matters. Oh, and these things don't give a lot of a... Wow, that big battle. Was that just a random battle, though? God, that'd be beautiful. Oh, there's supposed to be a red elevator, and I feel like I've already explored this. Yeah, see, there's a treasure there. Okay, well, we clearly can't... Oh my god, are you serious? Yeah, of course it's not doing any damage. 
I'm way too strong. There we go. Niter's already like a, not Niter, Ender's already a third of a level up, man. That's crazy. I totally know what I'm going to do in between episodes. Now, I don't want to fight these things because they're just useless. I just want to find that red elevator. Nope. Uh, yes, Blowbeat. I would do Radiance, but I'm not getting any skills when I do it. And one thing that I, that I did consider, and I'm not sure if that'll make a difference, but um, when you go to the dev room, there's actually a monster that tells you that he can make all the monsters on the map stronger tempor hello, temporarily. So we're unlocking this, and we get Sig tier. Who is that for? It's a support one. And this does activate the battle, absorbs the magical energy generated when foes are defeated, thus recovering HP when defeating enemies. Ah, oh, well that paired up with Gangrath just makes you unstoppable. You'd always be full health after battle, but to be honest, I'm already always full health after battle. Okay, so this seems to go up. Please don't bring me back to the beginning. Oh no, that just brought me up here, okay. So that's good news, I guess, but where's the red elevator? Um, can we not do this right now? Okay, blow beat. Yes, yes, you're doing such a good job. There we go. Overkill, momentum kill. Hundreds of XP, guys. We're getting hundreds of XP. Just crazy. Now, can I get a save spot soon? Because, to be honest... I don't think I feel like uh, having to redo this maze. Hmm. We must be going in the right direction. Okay, well this goes up here. See, I've unlocked everything. Like, these are all bridges and stuff. I'm assuming we'll have to go up. Further away. I mean, it's not guaranteed, but... Uh, you know what? Let's fight this thing. Only because it's an owl. Who Hoot hoots usually give a little bit better XP than usual, though. This thing's probably just gonna give like 300 or something. What is it? 248. I guess I was a little close. Not even close. Alright. Um. I don't understand why they had to make this complicated. Didn't I just have to get to a red elevator? Like this is not the way to go because of this stupid bridge thing over here. Come on. Well, this is gonna go somewhere else. Hopefully it's just further and not back. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Brrr, I'm just about ready to snap someone's neck here. It's the northern... What?! Oh my god, guys, we looped around completely. Okay. We done goofed it. Is there a way to call over, call out the airship? Okay, so... Hopefully we don't have to fight all these things again. How annoying is that? My apologies, I should have looked up some sort of map of, the, of uh, this dungeon here. Hmm. I'm kind of hoping that's maybe close on one side because we would have walked through here. We would have seen it. Oh, God. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> I don't want to fight these things. And I don't want to cut to it because I want you guys to see where it is. So if ever you're playing along, I want you to be able to see... Um, I wanted you to see where it is. There we go. Do you need to do any special abilities? Let's just fight them with regular melee attacks. Um, I feel like I came this way when trying to find my way back here. Um, nope, I found that treasure, which is fine for now. Because there's like three floors, right? So you've got... You've got the entrance here from the northern frontier. 
And then you had the entrance from, you know, near Gatherington. And then you had the middle floor, the second floor. So I'm kind of hoping, so this area here, I'm hoping it'll be around here somewhere. I just have to look a little bit harder. Oh, that's not what I want to do at all. Well, now we're gonna do blow beat because these things had to corner me. There we go. All right. It did say we had to find a red elevator, right? I am, I'm not crazy, am I? Unfortunately, we can't even check the quest log, which is super unfortunate. Eh, you wanted to kill me, but you won't get to. That just brings us back down, which I guess isn't the end of the world here. This is still the second floor, after all. I don't know why they had to add a half-fake uh, elevator like that. Oh, let's try and get around here. Whew! That was cool. No. Nope. Ugh. You silly thing. Oh, man, oh, man. Okay. I'm at the right place. I'm positive I'm at the right place. Oh, here you go. That's what I was looking for. I was right. It is at the second level. Well, I mean, I was wrong. My name is Julien. I have a question for you, Grinch, the blacksmith. I wish to know where the royal Sprit Knight stone is hidden. Uh oh, the curse. Uh, come on, stop it. We're all gonna get cursed. My name is Julianne. I have a question for you, Grinch, the blacksmith. I wish to know where the royal Sprit Knight stone is hidden. See, no reply. He isn't here. Let's just give up. We, we can just. Uh oh. Huh? What? Uh, what was that? That is my name. Who calls it? I already told you, it's Julianne. My name is Julianne. I'm a descendant of the royal family. A descendant of the royal family? The royal family. The cursed royal family. How I despise the royal family. Oh, spirit of Grinch, the blacksmith. I wish for you to return the royal Sprit Knight stone. I am no it. What? Huh? I am no spirit. Ah, here we go. To the moon. All right. Wow, well, we're in some weird place again, huh? Like what happened to me before. Except this time, it seems we're all here. Looks like we've been sucked into somewhere else inside the ruins. Could this be Grinch's doing? Uh, so Grinch isn't here after all. Uh, no, that's even possible. He's still alive, of course. No, he is here. I can sense a human presence. Yes, it appears so. Huh? What? Where? Where is he? The space itself is him. Yes, you may be right. He's human, but at the same time, no longer human. Huh? What? What do you mean? We'll fight him. Don't worry. Oh, boy. Ooh, sad music. Grinch really did exist. Sadly, he was taken over by the stone. But because of that, he stayed alive here in these ruins. How can someone be taken over by a stone and stay here for a thousand years, too? A thousand years. For a thousand years, I have been unable to die and unable to return to my human form. That's what you get for good quality build. How I hate the royal family. How I loathe them so. Well, I don't know how you figured that one out. You're the one who stole the royal sprint night, ain't ya? Ain't your mother ever tell you it was wrong to steal? 
away from everyone and away from everything. Looks like you got your wish, doesn't it? Except now we've shown up, so you're not alone anymore. The wrongs of the royal family have brought you great suffering. Will you let me rectify those wrongs? No. The stone is mine. It's mine, mine. Well, looks like he's not very good with conversation anymore. I guess a thousand years will do that to you. It's no use, Julianne. The Sprit Knight took control of him over a thousand years ago. Even if we can still sense some human presence, he isn't human anymore. There's no way we can bring him back. He exists here eternally. He himself has become the stone, an undying monster. The Sprit Knight has amplified his own greed to the point where it controls him completely. Huh. If you want to make up for what happened to him, as one of the royals, all you can do now is try to free his spirit. Give him his last rites. Huh. There's nothing else to be done. All you can do is end this. Very well, we will. Uh-oh. Alright, well the good thing about all of this is that with... Ow. Okay, well that's actually not very strong. We are actually, we are strong together. So where's my wall? <gasps> I forgot to equip wall. And I have counter. Oh, I'm a knighter. No wonder. Jeez. Alright, let's put wall on everyone, right? If I use momentum... Okay, I'll have to wait a little bit. And so knighter... Um, how about you do... No, you're gonna wait too. Nider, I don't know what kind of ability you use here. But I say you reduce his... Uh, let's do some light damage. Oh, you know what? He's weak against time because he's a dime monster. And Setsuna, how about... Hmm. I want you to wait. Ooh, yes. Do Luminaire so we can get auto-revive up and running. And Ender... You do wall on everyone as well. Auto-revive. There you go, effect all. Physical barrier, perfect. Laser beam. Yeah, it didn't do much, now did it. So... Oh my goodness. What just happened there? That looked like a lot. Let's do a blow beat, see if it does good damage. We adding, we're adding physical damage here. Stun, defense down. Not bad. Um, I'm gonna make her inspire everyone. Because I don't want attack up. Okay, there you go. Because I don't necessarily want... Uh-oh. 142. Okay, so it's not that bad. Ender... You, how about you do Radiance? That would not be a bad idea. Quick would be probably be good, but I think I'd rather you do Radiance. Yeah, that's some good damage right there. And how about a Magnetic Storm from the both of you here? Uh-oh, Laser Beam. Ooh, that's not good. I don't like it, but one stone, one Magnetic Storm. And I'll get... Uh... Ooh, my goodness. Okay, we're going to be doing that from now on. Did you guys not see that crazy damage? No! Uh, cause physical damage. Uh, what was that? Yeah, we're gonna do aura, obviously, because uh, I think we're close enough to get... Oh, well, she's the only one who's weak, so why would I even risk it? And obviously, that was a good choice. And Ender, how about you do some radiance on him? Debuff kill! Man, he was pretty easy, actually. But I have to say, Magnetic Storm did all the damage. Woohoo! Look at that! And Magical Energy Battery. Perfect! Finally! Finally my wish has been granted! Away from everyone! Away from everything! I can be alone, in peace. Oh, something shiny on the floor. You found a broken clock. Ah, so he finally got his wish. Indeed, these ruins, there are no living beings and no dead ones, no humans and no monsters. No soul can attain peace here. 
So the stone didn't grant wishes after all. It was just too powerful, far too powerful for any regular human to control. It can only be used by ones who's ready for its power. Yeah, right. The stone itself has done no wrong. I guess it can be used for good or for evil. All depends on whose hands it's in. I shall use this royal Sprint Knight stone. I shall atone for the past mistakes of the royal family. I shall use it to create a new future. You obtain Eclipse. Nice, and Pride of the Royals is the achievement we unlocked. And if we go and equip this on her... Let's see, what is it? Enables use of Eclipse causes special damage, null, to all enemies near the target. It inflicts more damage the higher the critical hits counter is. That's kind of cool. Alright, so guys, um, I'm going to end the episode here. Um, in the in next episode, or next mini episode, I'm really hoping to finish Ender's side quest. My god, am I so sick and tired of Hapster kicking my butt. But now I think I, I can actually beat him with counter. It's a very interesting idea, which I'm going to explore. And in the next real episode, um, we're actually going to go back to the Last Lands and see if we can defeat the Dark Samsara. So as always, I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. And I will see you all next time. Bye.